Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here, hope you're well. We are going to go into the final bit now, just for a little bit of fun. And we are going to add um, some imagery and some color. And we're going to try and use our magic wand a little bit better. We're going to try and increase our skill level with the magic wand. And what I'd like to do is just have a look at uh, this image that I created and it is using the spider and the tree frog that we had in lesson two. So when we were all the way back a couple of lessons ago we had lots of images down the right hand side just above my head here we had a toucan and all those bits and pieces and one of them was a uh, tree frog which is different to the tree frog that we had uh, previously and this is the skinny tree frog and what I'd like to do is just make some color just like to make something up just a simple composition of balance one side versus the other so we're not really talking about rule of thirds or golden ratios or anything like that so what i'd like to do is i've got this sort of uh, mauve color here as my pinky pink um and so i can change that i can turn that off with the eye just above my head here and if you're not sure about how turning these layers on and off you can do that with the eye here okay so I'm going to go and get my uh, skinny spider so here my, my skinny frog sorry I'm going to click on my skinny frog and do the same as what I did before so here I go and save as on an iPad you can long press and save it to your camera roll so I'm going to go and just zoom out of here. I think I've already saved this. Oh, I haven't actually. So I'm going to call this a uh, skinny frog and like that, call that skinny frog. Um, and what I'm going to do is I don't need these tabs anymore. So I'm going to go and just exit those, go into my photo peer tab and I need to go and open and place. So if I try and open it, it doesn't quite work. So I need to go to open and place here like so. So I'm going to go and sign out of there and I'm still in paint.net. I don't want to be in paint.net. I want to be in photo peer. And can I find skinny frog? There's skinny frog. Look and double click on that and done. There we are skinny frog. So I don't want everything else around it so I can destroy this layer. Okay. Now then this is up to you whether you want to use the magic wand. I would like to use the magic wand and then clean it up. Um, just for practice now if you want to go and use the lasso tool because you're happy with the lasso tool that's fine you can there's nothing wrong with that that's the way that you like to go but i am going to go into magic wand okay so i'm going to turn the tolerance right down so i'm going to go and halve that again and see what it does Ooh, it's not picking up a lot of uh, color at all I can see. So what I might do is introduce us to the quick selection tool. And what the quick selection tool does is it allows us to go and pick up larger pieces of color at one go. So I also, for those of you who are eagle eyed, we'll need to go and rasterize just above my head here by rasterize it or you can go to layer and then you can go to rasterize in there okay so i need to go and rasterize my layer i'm going to go out of here and just deselect everything just see what it's going to pick up now you can see when i use my quick selection tool it is picking up so much so let's go and turn my spider off and I might turn my pinky pink off so I can see it all underneath <gasps> that is too much isn't it so I need to go and turn my I'm going to go back to my magic wand actually because I don't like the quick selection tool the quick selection tool is taking too much of one color to be honest so what I'm going to do is probably turn this number up back up to 32 like I did before and see what it's doing so i might even go even higher and go let's go to 64 and see what it does this time oh 
that's a bit better isn't it you can see where if i zoom in now now you can see where it is starting to go and separate the colors very nicely indeed so we can have a go now ourselves at deleting this i'm going to go to edit and cut this is much better isn't it and delete and click on these and hit delete and it, those of you on ipads you probably won't be able to go as fast as this i'm going to pause so those of you on ipads you need to go and select a bit and edit and cut it okay and you can go and cut those out that's taking a bit of the chin away so i'm going to pause this and in a brief second um you can come back in a second and i will have done this cutting out so i've done uh, some editing now of this now you can see that there are some streaks in here so what i need to do is go and get my eraser tool now just like i did before and clean it up and once i've got my eraser um just in here i can just go and clean it all up i'm going to go and just clean this up a little bit so you will probably need to do the same you'll have something similar if you notice as well that my tolerance on my magic wand um is down to uh, 32 that's where i found it was good okay so i found that my tolerance is good at 32 and so um you can pause this again now and just go and edit it like i am with the eraser and rub it out okay so you can come back in a second you can pause it now and come back in a second so here we are i'm going to take my uh, screen away and just bring my frog back again um so here's my frog my skinny frog um i can now go and use that free form uh, transform that free transform tool and grab the handles and drag this down and what I can do is, can I flip this around? Is it going to allow me to flip it around? Yes, yeah, so I can grab it from one side and flip it around, making sure that the aspect ratio is good. So just, there we are, skinny frog. Bring that over to the edge. I, probably, I can probably bring that off the edge like that. Turn my spidey off. Whoa, it's very big, that spidey. So I can go and uh, free transform uh, spidey make sure I'm in the, the correct layer. So I need to go into Spidey layer and edit and free transform Spidey. Like that and grab the corner so I can go and make it look like it's um, up and, uh, on its legs and maybe change the pink as well. Change the, this mauve color. This uh, I don't really want this mauve. I want something a bit brighter pink than that. Um, let's go with that. In fact, should we go with that or should we go with an, a, a deep orange let's go with, let's go with the fuchsia there we go it's more like it let's go and get my bucket tool and color that in it's a bit better i think it pops a bit a bit brighter on your screens no doubt so you can go and play around you can have any color you like really um so we can get the spider and the frog either side like that using the magic wand tool. Remember, if you feel more comfortable using the lasso tool on the on the frog, then, you know, go ahead and do it. You can it, you can do what I did as well and use the eraser to clean it all up. Um, it's it's entirely up to use whatever you feel comfortable with. Like, you know, think about uh, think about mathematics, for example there's no set way really that you want to go and fix yourself with a, with a way of multiplying if you know chunking is your method but it's easy for you do it that way you know if you want to use the lasso tool go and use the lasso tool i like to use the magic wand tool because i can pick out lots and lots of color so now you've got two options now for different tools um color magic wand um similar colors lasso or you can use a mixture of the two. It's entirely up to you, really, is when you put the things back, backwards and forwards. Colour, give yourself a nice bright background colour and then export it as a PSD or a PNG 
and then put it into your Google Classroom. And I'll be really looking forward to what you submit, as always. So, as always, good luck.